In the next 3 minutes, I will show you how to guaranteed fix your Valorant ping and get rid of any stutters. After making the following adjustments, my ping went from 40 to 50 to consistently 5 to 10. So make sure to stick to the end. Make sure to subscribe for weekly Valorant guides and comment your current ping. Now let's get started. We're gonna start by going over to the Windows settings. You're gonna type in settings, open this up, go over to the network and internet tab and in here. First of all, you should ensure that you're using Ethernet and not a Wi-Fi connection. This should be common knowledge, but I'm still gonna mention it since Ethernet is way better than Wi-Fi. With that being said, let's move over to the data usage tab and in here. I recently already reset this, but make sure to reset this from time to time. So you're going to scroll all the way down and then reset the usage stats right here. Hit the button, confirm and reset. Then we're going to go back to the advanced network settings. And in here, we're going to start with the network adapters. And if you're not using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, my mainboard don't got Wi-Fi by itself. I could add it, but I never did since I'm always using Ethernet. So if you see Wi-Fi here, make sure to disable it. Same goes for Bluetooth if you're not using it, which isn't the case for me. I'm actually using it for my hardware, for example, for my headphones. This is why I'm not disabling it but in general disable all the adapters you're not using then we're going to expand the ethernet right here and we're going to click on more adapter options edit and now we're going to start with the actual most important steps to so make sure to stick to the end and actually follow the steps we're going to double click on the internet protocol version 4 and we're going to adjust the dns server address which is usually or by default set to be obtained automatically but we don't want this we want to set our own dns server address and there are actually two ways how you can determine which is the best dns server for you the first one is you're going to open up a cmd window and you're going to to type in a ping and then the certain dns server address for example for google or cloudflare it would be 1.1.1.1 i'm gonna ping this then it pings four times and then tells us the average and the maximum and minimum and we could also do this for cloudflare this way is pretty annoying i mean google and cloudflare are one of the best dns servers you can use so if you got a good ping to these dns servers like for me two and three ms is really good so i could easily go with these then feel free to just enter them here for example just choose the google one and enter it as preferred and as alternate just use cloudflare but if you you actually want to find the best dns server for you you can also use the tool which i've made and also linked in the description i know a bunch of you don't feel comfortable with downloading any stuff if you don't want to download this just do the cmd ping multiple dns servers and just find the best one for you if you want it to be automated, you can download this DNS checker tool, which I made from the description. You can just open it up by double clicking on it. It just asks how many rounds per resolver you want to do. I recommend around 10. You can also add more. As it's mentioned here, more rounds improve stability, the median and jitter, but also increase the test time, which just means that the more rounds you add, the better results you get, because then you can actually use more data and find the best one for you, but then it's completely fine. We don't want to test the IPv6 resolvers in my case, so we're just going to type in no. And then it automatically starts and tests all the DNS servers, which are commonly used. So once it's done, you're going to see all the valid results. You're going to see all the DNS servers it tested and the success rate, the jitter rate and stuff like that. And also you're going to see the summary. The best DNS server for me is the clean browsing security one and the alternate one would be family. So now we can go ahead and check the success rate is 100%. Jitter rate is 4.3 milliseconds. It looks good. So I'm just going to copy this or the certain best one for you. It also created a CSV file for the nerds of you. You can go ahead and go back right here. IPv4 preferred DNS server. Just enter it here and as alternate. You can now set the google or cloudflare one i'm just going to use the second best one right here right under it and also enter it as alternate dns server i'm going to confirm this with okay okay again and to apply these changes now scroll down to network reset and you're going to click on reset now and this is going to restart the pc once and afterwards the best dns server for you is automatically applied and live some small things before we actually hop in the game and i show you the improvement i also want you to check the task manager go into the task manager go over to the startup apps in the task manager and in here make sure that you disable all of the apps you don't need for me personally, I always disable all the apps right in here and just manually open them up. Maybe you could do some exclusions like Spotify and Discord, which I'm using daily. The second and last thing before I actually show you in-game is also your services. So go on your Windows search bar, search up services, open this up, go all the way down to the Windows services. And in here, you could disable the Defender or also the most important one is the Windows Update one, which is startup type manual. And make sure that before you launch Valorant or play Valorant that you set this to be disabled. It doesn't download any Windows updates in the background while you're playing apply these changes and with this you're making sure that it doesn't download any random updates while you're playing and don't want to get disrupted by some windows updates this could actually lead to some stutters in the range you're going to see that my ping is now around 10 to 11 milliseconds which is completely fine in my opinion i also had also played the swift play before where i had around 9 milliseconds so and as i mentioned before doing these adjustments in the dns settings for example my ping was around 20 milliseconds so definitely improved my ping so make sure to comment down below what your ping was before and after this video if you've got any questions feel free to let me know either in the comment section or also on our community discord server where i'm hosting Valorant Point giveaways frequently, so make sure to join there. And with that being said, I wish everybody a great day, and I'm gonna see you in the next one.